right, so this is my super gun. If you don't know what that is, actually it's not mine, I built it though. Uh, if you don't know what a super gun is, um, it lets you play an arcade board, like a video arcade board uh, in a big arcade machine on your home TV. Because um, arcade boards uh, output, the older ones output RGB, um, um, and the new ones, like on JVS, they use uh, digital signals, but usually these just are working for older JAMA stuff. So uh, it converts it uh, to NTSC. Um, so you can, uh, this one on the back here has um, composite right there, and then this is S-Video, and then this is just the straight RGB. Um, you can use that on like an RGB monitor, like a Sony PVM or something like that, so that um, you can build whatever adapter to the right pinout on this, and then you don't need to convert the video or anything, and these are sounds. Um, so it's just dual mono to keep it simple. And one of the, the things that I like about it is the power supply is a real arcade power supply. My first super gun I ever built had a um, computer ATX power supply. And when I actually took the meter to it, it was uh, underpowering my stuff, I guess, because it was old or whatever. So these are really good because they're sturdier. They'll... Uh, you know, provide proper voltage. And then on the back here, another advantage that these have is uh, it's adjustable, this little knob right here. So as the power supply gets old and it uh, doesn't give the proper voltage, you get a little crank with a, uh, this one you can move with your fingers or a screwdriver, and then it'll uh, get back to proper voltage or whatever. So this is the JAMA connector. And this is what connects to the arcade board. Let's see what else here. So um, this box over here, I didn't build this. I was super lazy, so I paid someone else to build it. But it's a uh, kick harness box. And so if you don't know what a kick harness is, on the JAMA standard, it only has um, three action buttons in the standard. So games like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and stuff, they need these extra wiring harnesses to have more than three buttons. Um, so this box is for uh, three and four player games, and then they need special harnesses for each game, like I think this one's Konami, this one's like WrestleFest. Oh no, this one's Konami. Uh, this one's WrestleFest, and this one's, uh, I think, Turtles or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, so then what else do we got here? Um, got a test button, service button. This is the, the power on-off. And then this is uh, the power on-off for the sink cleaner. And let's see here. Um, Yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, I got this project box from Fry's. It was only like, I don't know, seven bucks or something a long time ago. Um, total cost just for this box, not the kick harness and stuff. Um, the jammer harness was mm, $20. Power supply, 30 Um the ports here and the buttons and stuff for a couple dollars. So uh, if you have some wiring skill, it doesn't really even take that much skill. It's mostly empty inside except for wires, but it takes a long time. Um, if you can build a custom stick, if you can mod a stick, you can do this. It just takes more time and a little bit more troubleshooting. Um, you just have to understand powers and grounds and stuff like that. It actually took me a while to get this finally working properly. Um, so, 
Um, some people say it's super easy. Some people say it's super hard. It's somewhere in the middle to me. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about super guns and stuff, or yeah, joysticks yeah. or any game hardware stuff, uh, just ask a question. I'll try to help you. Hope you liked it.